good morning and welcome back and I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving uh, yesterday and are enjoying the rest of the holiday weekend if you have all four days off. Um, Monday starts one of the biggest events that affects uh, the Second Amendment and gun rights in this country in 10 years. Uh, the Supreme Court, the U.S. Supreme Court, will begin hearing oral arguments uh, on the case that was filed by the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association against the city of New York. And this was because the city of New York had some extremely uh, restrictive laws about uh, carrying a firearm from your home to anywhere else. In other words, uh, you were restricted. One, it's, it was hard to get a permit to even have a firearm or to have one in your home. So everything is very restrictive. But it was further restricted because you could not take a firearm from your home to anywhere, anywhere other than seven prescribed, approved gun facilities in the city of New York. You couldn't take it outside of the city of New York. If you did, it was a felony and it was a go to jail type felony. So a few gun owners and the um, New York Rifle and Pistol Association backed by the NRA uh, filed suit and uh, uh, the city lost that suit and tried to appeal and uh, then it was raised to the Supreme Court. Now, the, the city of New York and the state of New York were terrified, and they still are, uh, because of the current mix of justices on the Supreme Court who are Second Amendment friendly. But what this means, what the city did is, which was totally predicted, uh, they said, fine, we'll change the law. We'll change the law. And they did. And they gave the plaintiffs everything that they wanted. And the plaintiffs said, well, screw you, because all you'll do is, if, once we back off of the lawsuit, you just will put the laws back again. The state of New York said, well, we are terrified too, because we don't want you to undo the SAFE Act and all those other crazy anti-gun laws that the state of New York has. So what the state of New York said was, the city of New York can no longer bring back any law that looks like the one that they, were, that they have changed. And uh, then both the city and the state went to the Supreme Court and said, hey, please don't hear this case. The case is now moot because we've given the plaintiffs everything they want. And the Supreme Court says, we see totally through what you're trying to do. This case is bigger than that and we're going to hear the case. Uh, be prepared, however, to talk about whether or not and bring your arguments for whether or not you think the court should consider it moot. Now, uh, what that means is the court didn't on its own declare it moot, meaning they're not going to hear it, but an oral, so they got all the way to oral arguments which starts on Monday. And the, after hearing oral arguments, the court is going to decide is it moot or not. If the court decides that the case will continue to be heard, uh, what I am reading in the mainstream media, that's almost every, every mainstream media, print and video, is that the anti-gun people, Moms Demand Action, Bloomberg, why do you think that he bought Virginia? Why do you think that he's trying to run for president. He is so vested in the anti-gun movement that he wants to be in direct control and he has enough money to pull it off. The only thing that saves us is the Supreme Court decision if it comes down in our favor. Now, the arguments that you will hear and that you will see uh, are that, well, you, you you know, this is 2019, you know, we don't have muskets anymore. We need to balance the Second Amendment against public safety. No other amendment is balanced that way. None. 
And to do that relegates the Second Amendment to be an orphan, second-rate amendment in the Bill of Rights for all things. So the anti-gun people feel, it, and they should, that the case will be, will overturn lots and lots and lots of anti-gun laws and that the, the case will be uh, positively ruled such that we, the, the, the Constitution guarantees us and the Supreme Court has affirmed that we have a right to carry un, unmolested outside of our home. Now, once that happens, um, imagine Hawaii, Puerto Rico, all the states that California, which used to be at least open carry, which now cannot restrict whether or not people carry firearms outside of their home. And the gun rights people are terrified of that. And keep in mind, a lot of these shootings and murders that have taken place recently were in California, where the strictest gun laws are. So next week starts, you know, the game is afoot. Uh, now, the decision is supposed to be made in July uh, of this year, of correction, July of 2019. Now, I'm, I'm, I can't wait, you know, but it, is, it has to take as long as it's, it's going to take. Keep in mind that you will start to hear crazy arguments, desperate arguments from anti-gun people about why any decision, any decision to affirm the Second Amendment is the wrong decision. As a matter of fact, Hillary Clinton said that when she was running for president. The Supreme Court got it wrong. That made my skin crawl. So you will start to hear that and you will start to hear their arguments about why. This is 2019. We don't have muskets. We need to, these are weapons of war. All of that rhetoric is to sensitize the people who are ignorant about guns that um, the Supreme Court, if it rules, will be making a, a bad ruling. The other thing that they're doing is characterizing gun owners as uh, rabid dogs, as crazy anti-government people. All of the adjectives that have started to come out, uh, they're, now, they're now associating, if you have a gun, then you are a Trump supporter, right? Which is just not true all the negative connotations that can be assigned to people that have guns. Guns are evil, therefore people with guns are evil. People with guns cannot be trusted to have them. Those are the arguments that you're gonna see in here coming out. So be prepared to counter those. Do not let any conversation like that go unanswered. In the meantime, uh, sit back and enjoy the ride because Monday next week is going to really uh, be interesting. So, again, thanks for watching and carry on.